Folks, rain is on the way and it's getting dark so I need to hurry. I need to set up the Nature Hike Cloud 2 person tent. This is an episode of test night. I'm going to set up this tent. It is going to go through a long period of rain. We are going to test its waterproofness and also we're going to test this tent for condensation, moisture control, and ventilation. With that being said, let's go ahead and set it up now. Now check this out everyone. Nature Hike claims that this is a four season tent. And if that's true, this is one of the smallest four season two person tents I've ever seen. The form factor here really is impressive. It's impressive if their claims hold up. To start off here, I'm seeing quite a bit of mesh on top this is more of a three plus season tent rather than a true four season tent. We have some guy lines and tons of these tiny little stakes that Nature Hike is known for. These are not adequate for four season use. You would not be able to use these in snow or sand or anything like that. Check these tiny little stakes out. One thing that I noticed right off the bat is that this tent is missing one stake point. The tie off material is missing. Let's see about the others. This is not a big deal, of course, but it is something to make note of. Here's the pole. The pole is made out of aluminum, but it is very, very thin. Just in case you do not know, my name is Luke and this is the Outdoor Gear Review. The purpose of a test night episode is to determine just how waterproof a tent is. Not only waterproof, but how well does it handle condensation, moisture control, and ventilation. All of these questions will be answered in this episode. The Nature Hike tent has been set up and I can tell you this much. This is not a four season tent no matter what the company says. There's too much mesh. The poles are way too thin. The stakes are too small. The fly doesn't attach to the poles, but yet it has a snow skirt all the way around this. It's an interesting tent. There's no doubt about that. With that being said, the focus now turns towards the rain, which is coming in later tonight. This will last multi-day. Multiple inches of rain is on the way, and it will be a great test for this tent. At the same time, I'm testing out this nature hike tent. I also have this one, the Opulus three person is also being tested out. So this is the ultimate nature hike rain test. We will see how these tents do. And that's what I'm excited about. These are both very budget friendly tents and I hope they do well. I really do, but time will tell. All right, folks, it is a rainy day here in North Carolina and the cloud too has been seeing rain since early this morning. Rain will continue throughout the night. There will be a break tomorrow and then it will start raining again tomorrow night. I'm excited to get into this tent to see just how waterproof it is. I do have high hopes for this tent as a three season shelter because I really like the form factor. This is a very small tent, lightweight, the quality does seem very good. Anyways, I will share my thoughts about this tent in more detail in the review, but for now, let's focus on rain, waterproofness, and moisture control. Everyone, already I can tell you it is waterproof. There's been absolutely no leaks inside of this tent. It's kind of misting right now. So I went ahead, got all my sleeping gear in here, and it's time to turn in. I am impressed with just how waterproof this tent is. Absolutely no leaking over an inch of rain and there's more rain on the way. That's pretty impressive, especially for the money. 
everything looks good with the seam tape. Everything looks good with the stitching. With the exception of the outside of this tent. Right here at the door, I just noticed when I was coming in, there are two loose threads, which I will show you tomorrow. Overall, the quality of this tent is pretty good for the money. I mean, I've seen more expensive tents that look worse. One thing I can tell you is that the snow skirt around this tent works very, very well. Now you may be wondering, Luke, how do you know that? Because it is plum hot in here. It is not really a hot night, it's about 40 degrees, but inside of this tent already, I've warmed it up, it's gotta be at least 50. <laughs> I mean, like it's so warm in fact that my hands are burning a little bit. That's crazy. So what does that mean? The snow skirt blocks snow. It also blocks wind. Limited airflow. In a way, that's a good thing, but at the same time, it's also a bad thing. With a four season tent, you wanna have fabric like this, like this here, all the way around you. That way, you can still have ventilation inside of your tent, but that material will block the wind, the breeze from coming in. But the most important aspect to that is that you still have that airflow behind that fabric. With this tent here, you don't have that. That snow skirt goes all the way to the ground for the most part, limits airflow. The body doesn't hold in heat, and yet it doesn't really breathe either. You don't have any air coming in. So there are multiple issues here. I suspect by morning we will have a condensation issue inside of this tent. Now, how bad is it going to affect me? I don't know. It shouldn't be too bad. And that's because the fly material is pulled far away from the body itself. So it really shouldn't be an issue. If it was very windy, then it could because it could be just raining down on top of the tent on the body. Yeah, I don't know. We shall see. For now, I'm done. I will share more of my thoughts about this tent in the morning. It's time for a movie, a real stinker too. I downloaded uh, the latest Terminator movie, Dark Fate, Final Fate, whatever it is. Everybody says it's terrible, I'm sure it is. It looks awful. But I have to watch it, get it done. <laughs> we'll see how good or bad it is. But um, everyone, good night for now. See you all in the morning. Okay, good morning everybody. Well, last night was interesting. It did not rain at all, but it did get windy. So, in a way, that's a good test on its own. You can see here how the fabric's just kind of fluttering around. And thanks to this wind, I was able to see just how much condensation has formed on the fly throughout the night, and it is substantial. A moment ago, the fly material was laying against the wall because of the wind blowing it. And I could see that the, that the entire wall was just soaking wet. There's a ton of moisture on there. And that's because ventilation is limited with this tent. You do have the vent. You do have the guy lines that go underneath the fly. So there is just a little bit of an opening there. You do have some holes around the front. So there is some ventilation, but it is limited. So condensation is going to be an issue with this tent. Let's go over some points that I've written out here. So without a doubt with my testing so far, this tent is waterproof. Over an inch of rain, I'm impressed. Absolutely no leaking with this tent. It's on the poor side when it comes to ventilation and that's because of the snow skirt. In my opinion, this is not a four season tent, so I would just cut that snow skirt off. Or if Nature Hike offers a version of this tent without it, that's what I would get. Speaking of which, forget about this for a four season tent. I mean, you can use this in the winter, but if you take this into a real storm, uh, yeah, you would be in serious trouble. I would not recommend this for snow loading. I would not recommend this for strong winds, even though the materials themselves are good. The poles are very, very thin. They're some of the thinnest that I've ever seen. The tent stakes, very small, but overall, again, the materials are pretty good. The overall quality is pretty good. There are some loose threads here and there, but it's not the worst that I've seen. The tent does hold in some heat, but that's because of limited ventilation, and condensation will be the price you pay for that. The zipper on this tent gets caught a ton, and the zipper pull itself is terrible. 
I don't like that at all. It would be my advice if you purchase a nature hike tent to go ahead and replace those with some cordage. It will make opening and closing this much easier, but with the door here, the material will get caught, especially that storm flap. And the ratio of it getting caught is increased when it's wet. And for now, everyone, that's pretty much it. All in all, with this very first test, I am impressed with this tent. It's a real oddity, in my opinion. And also, it's a good example of how companies will oftentimes just throw marketing BS in your faces. They claim this is a four season tent and it's not. Forget about it being a four season tent. I would not waste my money on these products for four season use. You don't wanna put your life in the balance of a very inexpensive product such as this. But for three season use, there's definitely a place. I do have more testing to do and that will be coming up very soon. You will see this tent in action in some upcoming adventures and I cannot wait to share those with you all. Make sure to comment down below and share your thoughts. What do you all think about this tent? What do you all think about that snow skirt? In my opinion, that is so weird. <laughs> like I know why it's there, but obviously this is not a four season tent. So it just, it's a really weird design decision. It's really strange. Uh, yeah, I want to hear from you all. Have you had any bad experiences when it comes to nature hike? If so, make sure to share those down below and share the good as well. Everyone, take care. Make sure to hit the like button. I do appreciate it. Strength and honor. Have a good one.